Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the AC through inductance only. If the circuit contain only the inductance energized by the AC, we will see the based on that we will see the solved problems. The first problem is a coil of wire which may be considered as a pure inductance. Pure inductance means normally the inductance having some amount of resistance pure inductance means it is only inductive effect the resistance is not considered of 0.225 henry connected to a 120 volt 50 hertz source calculate first one is inductive reactance current maximum power delivered to the inductor average power and equation of voltage and current we need to find this value so we'll first we'll see what are the given data is available the inductor value is available 0.225 henry then rms value of voltage is available 120 voltage the frequency is 50 hertz so based on that first we'll find the inductive reactance inductive reactance is xl equal to 2 pi fl so formula for that so 2 into pi into f is nothing but 50 hertz into l l is nothing but 0.225 so by multiplying this what we got 70.68 ohm then the instantaneous current i equal to im cos omega t then we'll go to the maximum power the maximum power is vm im divided by 2 so first we'll find what is vm what is the value of vm and im by using this formula then we'll find the maximum power so vm equal to root 2 times of vrms so root 2 into 120 it is 169.71 im is nothing but vm divided by omega l that is i equal to v divided by r like that this is a inductive reactance so 169.71 divided by 2 into pi into 50 into 0.225 this is omega is nothing but 2 pi f omega is nothing but a 2 pi f so this value is 2.4 ampere now we calculated vm and im from that we can calculate maximum power vm im divided by 2 so by simplifying this what we got 2, 2 203.74 watts now we calculated the power now we'll go to the average power so the average power for the inductive inductive circuit is zero then we'll go to the instantaneous voltage v equal to vm sin omega t so v equal to vm is nothing but 169.71 that we calculated sin 2 pi f into t so 169.71 sin f is nothing but 50 so by simplifying this we, we got 344 t so 169.71 sin 344 t so from that we can find the instantaneous current i equal to minus i i m cos omega t so i m we calculated as 2.4 so minus 2.4 cos omega t the current is lagging here so it is given by negative sign now we calculated all the values we'll go to the second problem a pure inductance with value 0 0.01 henry takes a current of 10 cos 1500 and t so this is the inductor value this is the current value now calculate inductive reactance equation of voltage across z and what is the frequency for a inductive reactance equal to 40 ohm so these are all the questions now we'll see what are the data available the inductor value is given the current is given 10 cos 1500 and t so that can be compared with the standard form i equal to im cos omega t so by comparing these two equation this im is nothing but 10 ampere this omega is nothing but 1500 radian per second so by using the value we'll find the value find the parameters one by one inductive reactance first one is inductive reactance xl equal to omega l omega is nothing but 2 pi f into l so 2 into pi into f is nothing but the f is directly given 2 pi is f is directly given 1500 no need to go 2 pi f omega into l is enough 
omega is 1500 l is 0.01 that is 15 ohm now we will find the voltage across the inductor e equal to l di by dt because we have the i value is available so we can use this formula so e equal to 0.01 d by dt of 10 cos 1500 t so 0.01 into this 10 is constant taken outside difference is now 1000 cos 1500 and t is minus sin 1500 and t into 1500 now we will multiply all these quantities 0.01 into 10 into 1500 that is minus 150 sin 1500 and t the negative sign is available now we calculated the voltage equation now we will find the frequency the inductive reactance is given from that we need to find what is the frequency so 2 pi fl equal to 40 xl is nothing but 2 pi fl equal to 40 so the l value is already known 0 0.01 only frequency we need to find for this given value so f equal to 40 divided by all these parameters that is 637 hertz so for this inductive reactance the frequency will be 637 hertz now we calculated all the parameters now we'll go to the third problem in the circuit it's not an inductive circuit is given as circuit source voltage is v equal to 200 sin 314t plus pi by 6 so is a phase angle and the current is 20 sin 314t minus pi by 3 the current equation and voltage equation is given in that both we have the phase difference is available the question is find the frequency maximum value of voltage and current rms value of voltage and current average value of voltage and current phasor diagram circuit elements and its value circuit element means what are the circuit elements are available whether inductor or resistor that value so first from the given data we will we will analyze this so v equal to 200 sin 314t plus pi by 6 this is a voltage equation the standard equation is v equal to vm sin omega t plus pi so from by analyzing by comparing these two equation this vm is nothing but 200 vm equal to 200 the pi is pi by 6 the pi value will be pi by 6 that is the pi value of the voltage Similarly, I equal to 20 sin 314 T minus pi by 3. The standard equation is I equal to IM sin omega T minus pi. So, IM is nothing but 20. By comparing these two, we can easily identify IM equal to 20. The phase angle will be minus pi by 3 is available. Now, we will find the parameters one by one. First one is frequency omega that is equal to 314 we calculated omega is from the given equation from this equation we can easily identify omega equal to 314 so omega is nothing but 2 pi f that is equal to 314 we are, what we need is frequency so f equal to 314 divided by 2 into pi that is 50 hertz the frequency we calculated 50 hertz then maximum value maximum value we already calculated here 220 Vm equal to 200 voltage, Im equal to 20 ampere. From the equation, we can easily identify. Then we will find the RMS value. Vrms equal to Vm by root 2. That is 200 divided by root is 141.42 voltage. Irms equal to Im by root 2. 20 divided by root is 14.142 amperes. Now we will go to the average value. So, I average equal to 2 IM by pi. So, 2 into 20 divided by pi is 12.732 ampere. Similarly, V average equal to 2 VM by pi. 2 into 200 divided by pi, 127.32 voltage. Now, average value is calculated. Now, we will go to the phasor diagram. So, this is the voltage equation given. From that, we can easily identify plus pi by 6 is available. So, the voltage is lead by pi by 6. So, current equation here minus pi by 3 is there. So, 
we can easily identify the current is lagging by pi by 3 right so we'll take this this is the reference so the voltage is lead by 90 degree voltage is lead by pi by 6 mean 30 degree voltage is lead by 30 degree but the current is lag by pi by 3 pi by 3 means this is 60 degree so this is 30 degree and this one 60 degree 30 plus 60 90 degree so there is a angle between voltage and current is exactly 90 degree so that indicates this is the purely inductive circuit that's a pure inductance right so from the phasor diagram we identify that voltage is leading by pi by 6 that is 30 degree current is lagging by 60 degree pi by 3 from the equation we identify now by adding these two we can get the voltage the angle between current and voltage that is 90 degree 30 plus 60 90 degree so that 90 degree indicates it is a purely inductive circuit so that is given here from the phasor diagram it is clear that current i lags voltage by 90 degree current is lagging by 90 degree so it is the circuit is a inductive circuit that's why in the beginning of the problem it is given circuit not a inductive circuit we need to identify what type of circuit now we identify that it is inductive circuit from that we can find the inductive inductance element the circuit element is nothing but inductance so i m equal to v m by omega l we need to find l so bring this l in the numerator so l equal to v m by omega into i m that is 200 divided by 314 into 20 that is 31.85 milli henry so we calculated the inductor value now we calculated all the parameters so in this video we discuss about the solved problem based on circuit containing only inductor we solved the three different problems thank you